The wait at this doctor's office is the worst. Yeah. Whatever your appointment time is, just add three hours to it. Yeah, really. Excuse me for saying this, but you look familiar. I get that a lot. Common face, I guess. Did you go to McKinley High School? Yep. Did you have Wiggins for American government? Didn't everyone? I think it's a city ordinance or some zoning law. Yeah. You're Brad Phillips. Yes, and uh, you're, uh, I could have the tip of my tongue, don't tell me, Linda, Linda Johnson. Close, Linda Jeffries, uh, Linda Adams now, but who's counting? Not me. You were so great in high school, Brad. Do you remember what I signed in your yearbook? No, I, I wish I could remember, but the old noggin's a little foggy. Stay cool, stay cool. Oh, that's kind of neat, I guess. Did you? Did I what? Stay cool. I don't know. Probably not, I guess. Jeez, Brad, you used to wear those faded Levi's and you had the Marlboro cigarette box nestled in your t-shirt like some suburban James Dean. You were so cool, Brad. Y yeah, Linda, that was, that was a long time ago. But Brad, you were the one that was different. You were going to go to New York or LA and start your own avant-garde theater company and then break into movies through the back door. Yeah, well, Linda, I got to Kansas City, Missouri, about the halfway point there, and did some dinner theater for a couple of years, you know, Neil Simon, the whole thing. But then the place went chapter 11. After that, I needed a job, and I kind of fell into a part-time sales position, and, well, one thing led to another, and I've been regional sales manager for a kitchen appliance manufacturer, the largest in the tri-state area. Tri-state area? What about your music, Brad? All those songs you wrote on your 12-string guitar. I thought you would be headlining at Coachella. Coca... Coca-Cola? Coca what? Coachella? The hippest music fest on the planet? Hello? I saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers at Lollapalooza several years ago. Lollapalooza? My grandmother went to Lollapalooza, Brad. Stay cool. Jeez, Brad, when someone writes something like stay cool in your yearbook, the least you could do is try to honor their suggestion. I need a Xanax. I need a Valium. I need a Xanax and a Valium. Keep it together, girl. Keep it together. Stay cool in a high school yearbook, Linda. Who even takes that kind of thing seriously? How does one stay cool? Were they ever cool in the first place? Look, let's focus on the present. Why don't you and your husband join me and my wife at Rancho Paz's? They have a Taco Tuesday night from 7 to 10. Pam and I like to get there about 7.15 so we can go home and watch Dancing with the Stars, which is usually a rerun. Taco Tuesday, Dancing with the Stars, not cool. I can't listen to this. La 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 la. Linda, uh, the receptionist just called my name for the, my doctor's appointment. Uh, Listen, I hope to see you guys at Rancho Paz's. Take care of yourself, Linda. Brad, like countless others, is a victim of an inability to stay cool. Each year, thousands of individuals lose their coolness through no fault of their own. Is this caused by a genetic defect or is it shaped by outside social forces? Dedicated researchers are trying to answer those troubling questions. However, your financial contributions can help make a difference. Please send your, your check or money order to Stay Cool Incorporated. The choice is up to you. And remember, when someone signs Stay Cool in your yearbook, you owe it to them to make it happen. Stay Cool Incorporated is not a publicly traded company or a recognized LLC, but it is in fact a dedicated organization that relies on generous contributions from people like yourself. Please give and remember to Stay Cool! <laughs>